We've reached another stop on our journey to discover the best PS4 controller. This time we're taking a look at the controller mod's custom DualShock 4 pad. We were given free reign over the design, so we went all out with this horror theme complete with red buttons and bullet-style thumbsticks. This is one of the more complex styles, with controller mods also offering more subtle shell designs. If you can manage to look past the cosmetic flair, you'll spot the main gameplay affecting elements of this pad. Two dominator buttons sit on the rear of the controller, positioned in a way that allows them to be activated by the middle fingers. We map the left button to X and the right button to Circle. This combination comes in useful when playing shooters, allowing us to jump around while adjusting our aim in mid-air and making it easier to quickly melee an enemy. What's cool about controller mods is that they allow you to add just one button if you wish. So if you just want to map X to the left side and keep the right side free, you can do that and it'll save you a bit of cash. Shooters are what I play most and having buttons on the rear of the controller has saved my life more times than I can count. Controller mod solution is well implemented and easy to trigger without being too sensitive. The dominator buttons are squishy rather than clicky, keeping things very silent. This squishiness was a bit of a turn off at first, but I quickly got used to it. Custom pads from controller mods can also be outfitted with a Razorback Maxfire mod chip, which allows for easy access to various software exploits. Now we here at PlayStation Lifestyle don't encourage the use of mods, especially in multiplayer matches. The gameplay you see here is me playing against bots with rapid fire enabled. Additional mods include drop shots, auto run and a bunch more, and they all work as intended. Though again, we'd advise against using them, but they are available if you want them. Build quality is good, though some of the edges are a little rough and there are some markings on the base of the bullet thumbsticks. But overall, the pad feels just as solid as a normal DualShock 4. I will say that it would have been nice to get the newly updated PS4 controller with the light bar on the front and low latency USB connection, and I'd recommend emailing controller mods as you make your purchase to confirm whether you'll be receiving the old or the new model. Controller mods pricing is very competitive. With the option to have just one button, you're looking at a starting price for around $90 or £63 delivered. Add an additional button to make for two in total and you're looking at $101 or £71. As you tweak your design and add more components, the price rises. We'd recommend that you use the website's controller creator to build and preview how the pad looks and how much it will cost. There's also a bunch of pre-made designs that you can order with just a few clicks. If you're in the market for a new custom PS4 pad, Controller Mods offers a bunch of unique designs as well as a very solid rear button solution. And so that is our Controller Mods custom PS4 controller review. Let us know what you think of the pad in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This has been Mac for PlayStation Lifestyle. Goodbye.